Hi everybody, it's Faith from Paris and Tara. Hope everyone is well. Um, the universe has decided that we're throwing down for Scorpio next, so I guess it is what it is. Let's throw down. This reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2021. If it resonates with you and your Scorpio Sun, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can check your moon, rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. So, that being said, just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends, cross-watchers are always welcome here at the fire sign tarot table. Okay, so couple quick things before I invoke the cards and throw them down for Scorpio. One, never make any major life choices based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good idea. I don't recommend it because you don't have to do what the cards tell you to do. It doesn't have to go down the way the cards say it's going to go down. You have free will. You can change whatever you want to change. That's how that works. Two, if it is not your reading, not your message, not your story, if it's not vibing with you, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take what doesn't belong to you. And last but not least, I'd just like to thank everyone for stopping by today. I appreciate you. While you're here, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. You don't have to. I'm not going to twist your arm. You can also, if you feel like it, I mean, I'm not going to twist your arm. Again, you have free will to do whatever. Hit the notification bell and the subscribe button if you think you might want to see more. That way you know when I upload. That's how that works. Okay. So. All right. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for the message you have for Scorpio. March 2021, March 2021, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's bring Scorpio to their highest possible spiritual good. Walk in their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. Scorpio, why are you here? Four cups reversed. I don't think you want anything to do with that cup. You're straight up ignoring it. Or someone's ignoring the cup that you're trying to hand them. Take it however it resonates. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? It never fails. The phone is silent all day long. As soon as I sit down to read cards, it starts blowing up. Give me one second. Let me shut this thing off. There we go. Okay. Six of Swords. Hmm. Moving on. Either you've moved on for them or they've moved on from you. What do you think of them? Five of Cups reversed. No longer in a state of sadness about the situation. You moved on from it. What do you want from them, of them, for them? Seven of Wands in the reverse. Throw a clarifier on that. Hmm. Hmm. Like inner demons and stuff. What's up with that? I need to clarify that. What do they think of you? Or sorry, how do they feel about you? Nine of Wands reversed. Thrown in the towel. Ain't got nothing left. What do they think of you? Justice reversed. Oh gosh. Wasn't fair. This wasn't fair. Hearing this wasn't fair. 
wasn't equal, wasn't balanced, it wasn't fair. What do they want of you, for you, from you? Ten of Wands reversed. A burden that needs to be released. Could be something left unsaid, something left undone. A cycle not complete. I know the wands represent passion, but that's a huge communication card for me, or lack thereof, because there's a weight that was never lifted. Hmm, interesting. What's the obstacle here? The Hierophant. Well, hmm. Oh. Mr. Hierophant, what are you doing here? Why is that an obstacle? Oh. We'll see what happens when we clarify that. Possible resolution, Six of Wands. The return. Something about a return. We're going to leave that for the end. This is why we clarify. Scorpio, you're being elusive again. This is why we clarify, because the cards are only giving me half of the story. So far, I'm seeing people are moving on, and people are being ignored. People possibly ignoring feelings. Things are being left unsaid. That hairpin's kind of screaming at me that possibly somebody moved on to get married. I don't know. I mean, again, we'll throw a clarifier on it, but... Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Scorpio, please? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. March 2021. Oh my gosh, sorry, the middle of March. And of course, I'm not done with March readings yet. Life happened, you guys. I apologize for that. I can't control my illness any more than I can dictate the universe. All right, what are we doing? Why is four cups reversed here? Hi, you want to talk? King of Swords. Oof. That's a hard one. Logical, non emotional decisions. Sometimes he uses that, that logic and that honesty as a form of protection. Very heavily guarded. Ignoring feelings. Scorpio, are, are you hitting that, that emotional switch again? You guys are famous for that, by the way. Sagittarians are better at it, just saying, but Scorpios very much have a switch. They don't want to feel something. They just oftentimes don't feel it, or at least that's the face they show the world. Just saying. I'm not picking on you. I'm stating facts. I'm a Scorpio Venus. Why is the Six of Swords here? Hi. Queen of Cups reversed. Moved on. Didn't want to feel it. Closed off emotions. Didn't want to feel it. Either that's what you, they think you think they're doing, or that's what you did. That's how you felt about them. I can shut this off and move on. Like switch. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> 
All things can be vice versa too, Scorpio. Don't forget that. Why is the Five of Cups reversed here? You flipped, you fell. Eight of Pentacles reversed. It's what you think of this situation, trying not to be sad about it, not putting any energy into it, walking away, trying not to feel any emotions. Why is the Seven of Wands reversed here? For what Scorpio wants of, for, or from the person they're dealing with. Thank you. Knight of Cups. So, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You want to so badly. Pick up the phone. Make a call, send a text, maybe an email. Tell them how uh, tell them how you feel. Express the emotion but you're suppressing it. You're not putting any energy into it because you're ignoring feelings. No matter how bad you want to, or you want them to pick the phone up. You want to hear from them. But with that seven of wands reversed, you, it's like, you know, I'm not going to take control of the situation. I'm going to wait for them to talk to me. Again, all things can be vice versa. Don't forget that Scorpio. You want to, but you're not going to. All right. <clears throat> Why is the Nine of Wands reversed here? For how the other person feels about Scorpio. Nine of Wands reversed. Why the Nine of Wands reversed? Five of Swords. Oh. Throwing in the towel, picking up the pieces. Hold on one second, please. Sorry about that. Five of Swords on top of a Nine of Wands reversed, throwing in the towel, picking up the pieces. Battle won, battle lost, doesn't really matter. Somebody walked off the battlefield with their tail between their legs and somebody won the argument. It's hard to say who's who at this point. Does it really matter who walked away? Y'all ain't talking. Somebody's ignoring feelings. Why is justice reversed here? Oh, wow. Hi. Is swords reversed? For what the other person thinks of either Scorpio or the situation, this wasn't fair. This wasn't balanced. This wasn't just. And there's no communication. Somebody's ignoring their feelings, not putting any energy into it. And one of you, because all things can and maybe vice versa, this is how this works. If this gets confusing, I'm sorry. There's no communication. Why the Ace of Swords reversed? One more. One on the Ace of Swords reversed. Four of Wands. That's strange. That's very strange. Why the four of wands? Seven of cups reversed.
Scorpio, the other person may think that there might be something to build on here. There might be a solid foundation. It could work, but seven of cups reversed. Someone could be mulling over missteps in the path. I don't like to say wrong paths. There's no such thing as a wrong path in my eyes. All paths lead to the same destination. It's just how wild of a ride do you want to go on? You can always find your way. You just have to find your way. Hmm. Someone doesn't want to put the energy into it. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed here for what the other person wants of four from Scorpio? Ten of Wands reversed. Wheel of Fortune. It's a ten. Tens represent endings and new beginnings. There's a burden left on somebody's chest. It was never released. That will of the year calls for its release. It calls for the ending of the cycle. Someone may just need to get something off the chest, Scorpio. Someone may be feeling a little bit timid about making an offer. Hmm. Okay, why is the Hierophant here for the obstacle? Why the Hierophant? Hi. Shadow side. Mm. That's interesting. The shadow side can be a card of toxicity and... Binding connections. Two two different soulmate cards. Definitely for sure. Just of a different kind. One more. I'm intrigued. One more. Oh wow. Okay. 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 Why not? Eight of Wands reversed, Ace of Cups reversed, the Hermit. You remember how I said that the obstacle could be that somebody was getting married? That someone... Well, that devil card screaming that someone may have been bound to someone else doesn't necessarily have to have been a toxic connection they were bound to. It's just one of the meanings. The devil card can just simply mean a binding connection. Eight of Wands reversed, Ace of Cups reversed, and the Hermit. Somebody needed to be, someone needed to lay low for a while. Somebody needed to dump somebody else's cup, possibly, or not take a cup that was offered to them. Because with this hermit, they needed to figure out what they wanted. They had to go inside and really figure that out. Not put any energy into anything for a while. Lay low, be quiet. I don't, I, I have a feeling that wasn't you, Scorpio, but again, all things can be vice versa. Somebody needed to figure out what they wanted. It's like a switch. Hmm. Okay. Why is the Six of Wands here for the possible resolution in this connection? 
in this situation. The lovers. The six of wands is the return after the battle. It's the card after the five. The five of wands is the is the big brute tussle. Everybody's arguing. There's a lot of sticks flying. Well, the six is someone coming home from that battle. And the lovers can represent a choice. Deciding what you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be a choice between two people. It can be, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. I think we're going to discuss the different meanings of cards today, Scorpio. Hmm. Someone may finally have, someone may have to decide. One more. Four of Pentacles reversed. That's letting something go. Hmm. Okay. Sometimes we have to return to situations and allow for closure. Allow the Ten of Wands to turn right side up and burdens to be released and cycles to close out the way that they need to. One of you just wants communication. I think the other of you may just want closure. What's the res or what's the outcome? Eight of Swords. Why the Eight of Swords, really? Why the Eight of Swords? Ten of Swords. One more. Eight of Cups. The Eight of Swords is my little nail biter card. I'm imagining someone just sitting there chewing on their nails nervously. That's a nasty habit. Don't do it. Maybe sitting at a coffee shop. Just waiting for the shoe to drop. Allowing for a painful cycle to finally come to an end for the sun to shine again. For a burden that was never let go of or released to finally be released. And remember, when you move on from something, you are moving toward something else. It's like, this is the cup half empty or half full. I mean, what's your cup look like? Is it half empty or is it half full? Let's get some advice for our Scorpio friends. This is more of a question. Eight of Pentacles, Upright, Empress, Reversed. Why are you going to put energy into something that's not going to grow? Be mindful of what you put your energy into. Nine of Swords, Reversed. Two of Swords in the Upright. Don't get all up in your head about this decision. Is it a painful one? Yes. Is it a difficult one? Yes. It doesn't have to be consuming. It's one of those tough decisions no matter what you do. It's not going to end well for one of you. But the longer you put it off, the worse it's going to be. Do you want to sit there in the darkness biting your nails? Or do you want the sun to shine again? It's up to you. Do what you want. It's not my journey. It's yours. I'm just throwing down cards. Drinking coffee. Four of 
Four of Swords Reverse, Two of Swords Upright. <laughs> wow, okay. Don't let the situation make you restless. Is that not what I just said? <laughs> There's no sense in getting all restless about this. It really isn't. Five of Cups reversed, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Don't. The longer you put off processing the emotions involved in a situation, the slower your progress is going to be. So, do with that what you will, Scorpio. Sometimes the advice has nothing to do with the reading, but I think it did a little bit. All right, thanks for coming out. Thanks for stopping by. I love you guys. Be blessed. Catch you guys in a couple of weeks for your April readings. And if I don't hear from you, or you don't hear from me, before, happy spring. Because coming up on the 20th, the Zodiac, I believe it's the 20th. It's the 19th or the 20th. Spring's coming. So what's the first day of spring typically? The first day of Aries season. So I'll have to double check that on my calendar, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the Zodiac Wheel comes to a close this coming weekend and a new year will begin. So I will catch you guys later. Be safe, be blessed, and know that you're loved.